knots because that game sucked. No, it didn't. I don't know. I didn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it sucked. No. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Sega. Sega. Oh, oh, we're ready. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> you okay there? I, I did a lot of cocaine. Oh, okay. So now I have a you cocaine. You wanted it, so I, I won't show this. So I, yeah. Now I have cocaine. <laughs> that, that's, more, that's more ridiculous than anything. Yeah, uh, okay. Hey, everybody. Mm. Welcome to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show, where we talk about <laughs> things that are important to us. Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> ah, cocaine. But may not be important to you. Also, cocaine. <laughs> Dr. Roxo. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Roxo. Um, uh, before we go any further, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, guys, it is holiday times. I don't know if you're aware. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, it's already here. It was so quick. Um, so we want to give you guys... Uh, the whole episode is gift ideas, but we're going to show you a few things that we just got in the store that you can buy that special someone uh, for Christmas, or in my brother's case, his birthday, because uh, it's Christmas and his birthday. He gets my double the presents. Birthday, my mom's birthday. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get them, get them that right there. There you go. I'm sure she'll love that. What do you got? Ho, ho, ho. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, whoa. <laughs> well, I can come back to that. Uh, is the Umbrella slip Academy. Case, uh, graphic novel, soft cover collection of the Umbrella Academy. Good stuff. Because right the show is great. The show's really good. I enjoy and it. the graphic novels are also great. Yes. And they're not the same. They're similar, but they're not the same. Yes. So right. If you're have... at all interested, these yeah. are fantastic. Get the whole um, story. I have the first two. I need to get that last one. You know, one. somebody, I, I, they'll remain nameless, but they work here. They were shocked that. Um, the guy who wrote these is uh, is uh, Gerard Gabriel Way. Bob? Gerard Way. No, Gabriel <laughs> yeah. Bob. Yeah, like, He's the artist. Anthony. Yeah. No, it wasn't Anthony. No. Oh, what? They were just like, I feel like that's something Anthony they, would know. They, they were just like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, the, he wrote. I didn't know that. <laughs> like, what, what, what band was he in again? Uh, uh, Black uh, Parade guy. Uh, no. Um, yeah, yeah, he is. That's his song, but I don't know. What yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. remember the name of the band. Now the name's escaping me. But Great. Not, how My old Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance. Right. That's what it was. Very yeah. emo band, yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah. My Camro, <laughs> My Camro, as we called it on the streets. Yeah, sure. Uh, guys, for I grew up on a street. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the more ad uh, adult people, oh. there is EC's Crime oh, Illustrated, yeah. full of adult suspense stories. Um, Picto fiction, yeah. Picto fiction, yeah. There, there's a dead woman in the cover. Nice. No, 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 kids. She's sleeping. She's sleeping in, in a jar of ketchup. Yeah, that's and spilled it, yeah, all she over. Spilled ketchup all over the place, and she's asleep with her eyes open. Right. Um, and rotting slowly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, we got a, we're getting a lot of like the EC stuff. Like you, I remember you you uh, had one of the big EC books, yeah, right? Yeah. Like the big history of the EC books. Uh, they're making a comeback, guys. Get this for your uh, pre-code classics. Yeah, get this for your uh, your eccentric fifty-year-old. All right. Hey. Well, on... <laughs> that is you. I, I'm there. not even old enough to have actually read ECs when they came out. So. Well, okay. On the topic of today's episode, well, someone leading to it. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure what to. We yes. had a terrible conversation about <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of stuff. And... My Little Pony. Oh you know, friendship is magic. Mm -hmm. The comic book. Because it is. Uh, be this is, is before that reboot where the faces looked all deformed and it's uh, yeah the reboot was weird yeah the reboot yeah this is this is now not the latest version of My Little Pony right. anymore the new versions just look generations or whatever yeah it's weird looking yeah. okay the next gen looks weird like their faces I... look like elephant man faces <laughs> Wow, I don't know if it's quite that <laughs> weird, but it is pretty. It it is a very, uh, it is a very striking department. Now, Tony, as a brony, style. how does that make you feel? I'm not a brony. Mm. <laughs> That's, that's that's how not, it makes him feel. He's yeah. no longer a brony. Yeah, he's not a brony no, no, anymore. No, no, I was never so, a brony. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, anyway, you can get all that stuff and uh, so much more right here at Cosmic Comics. We also ship. Uh, that's right. What yeah, is yeah. the website again? I always forget. Yeah. No, I'm not a brony. Cosmic Comics. <laughs> he's still defending himself. Uh, I, I just happen to know all the main <laughs> okay, characters. Okay, Anthony. Cosmic, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine, fine Anthony. Even Nobody's if, judging even you. Even if you were, we would still love you. No, he is, but Cos we still love him. <laughs> CosmicComics.Vegas or CosmicComicsLV.com. Order something for yourself or for right. that special someone that you love uh, who loves ponies. Who loves ponies. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Anthony. We get it. We're, you're good. All right. So okay. uh, we just did an advertisement for the store, for sure. Right. We did. We do that every episode. You guys know that. 
But we yes. want to talk about uh, our holiday gift guide for right. that nerdy person that you love in yes. your life. Now, a lot of the products that we're going to show you and talk about uh, is going to be stuff that is found here, but also really any comic book store would have these. Right. Uh, you know, essentially, I would imagine. Uh, who wants to start? Oh, before we continue, um, uh, we did have a special take on this. So we are of differing ages. Right. Yes. I don't know if you Fairly significant. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. We all look like we're Tony's age, but we're not, surprisingly <laughs> enough. Uh, I wish. <laughs> I so so wish. Uh, a lot of the stuff we'll be suggesting for you are uh, for people within that yeah, sort of Yeah, I thought it'd be interested gap. to try to... I thought it'd be interesting to try to... Uh, Give it from a perspective of each of our ages, because I think, I suspect we all have very different ideas of what we would like or what we can talk about of how to gift buy for us or at least people in our age groups. So. Right? Do you want to do you want to say our actual age on air so and then cry for five minutes or? I, I can do it. That's fine. Okay. No, I'm, 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 I'm old enough kidding. to drink. So. I'm just kidding. You're old enough to drink. Yeah. You're really. Here. Yes. Okay. And I, I and I'm almost. Pre- I wasn't. I wasn't I'm, sure what your age was. So I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm Twice as old as Tony, and you can rent ultra porn. <laughs> I am almost <laughs> twice as old as Tony by one year, and then uh, you're somewhere in between. I am in between. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, almost, I did just. I did, almost exactly. Actually, I did yeah. just age out of a demographic, which is very yeah. sad. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. or yeah. a key demographic, I should say. Yeah, I almost drink. I almost threw up in a hosh and brush. So nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. When I turned 36, I did start watching a lot more CBS than I thought I would. So I don't know. We pro- oh God. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm kidding. CBS I, sucks. Yeah. Um, did you want to start since you're the youngest? Or? All right. So that's how I figured we would go. In sure. That yeah. Right youngest. Okay. Youngest told. Well, p- in terms of gifts, beauty what? before age. It, it would be yeah. Like how would somebody buy for you? All right. And, well, and pretend uh, that you don't work here <laughs> and have access to all this information. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, I have to like take myself back to high school. Um, where we did a Secret Santa for the anime club. Ooh, ooh, flashback time, flashback time. Ooh, moving my arms. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, how were the anime clubs at your school, Adam? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had Good. an anime club too. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't have an anime. Club. Um, basically, we did a Secret Santa. There was a price limit. We always set a price limit, and mm-hmm. anything it can't be more than twenty bucks. And basically, most of the stuff we kind of expected was like T-shirts, maybe a Funko. Right. Uh, I still have that Faz- Captain Phasma Funko from an ex that I want to get rid of. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Well, why? I'm, I'm into modern Funkos right now. I'll okay. take them. Oh, okay, sure. I'll, <laughs> I'll, give, take I'll, I'll, I'll give you Captain Phasma. Yeah. I uh, thought you had a Phasma already. Not a Funko. I have a figure. Oh, I also I have a Phasma. Funko, Funko do you? Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. such a wasted character. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Um, it's yeah, a it's, real disservice. It's, Wasted movies. It's, anyway, go ahead. It's generally not really super expensive stuff and things that are like mainly accessible for a lot of us. And even nowadays, like whenever I will say my dad asks, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of more niche stuff um, on the subject of My Little Pony... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> spent no, a whole minute defending yourself. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> oh, and those he's who, going there. those who are into super no, no, morbid no, stuff, no, um, no stuff that okay for the generation <sighs> of internet users that weren't exactly born around <sighs> that era but are heavily interested in it, like oh. pre YouTube, uh, YTMS, YTMS.com. Uh, file sharing sites, <laughs> like people who weren't around that era but are interested in it. Okay, um, just get, just hit it, dude. Just do right. it. Just do Stop it. beating <laughs> around the bush. Just rip right, that bandaid right yeah, off. Fire right. that shotgun. Right. A YouTuber <clears throat> named Justin Wang covered a video involving a My Little Pony toy in a jar, and <laughs> innocuous <laughs> enough, right? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna further uh, explain it. You have well, enough information to find it yourself. Yes. Oh, um, it's, it's from the internet, and tales. it's a pony-related thing. Right. Tales from the internet. Tales from the internet. Because he has a T-shirt on Etsy that was actually taken down because people legit thought it was the actual thing, but thankfully it's not. It's. I mean, we don't know that for sure. For forty-five bucks, you get a T-shirt. Forty. Forty-five dollars. Uh, yeah. For, okay. For forty-five dollars, you get a. Good lord, that's a lot of money. You get a T-shirt of Justin Wang himself. 
holding the jar and the, the way it's drawn is supposed to uh, parody a Tales from the Crypt uh, comic. It's <laughs> Tales from the Internet, the My Little Pony jar, and Wang is like looking at it with, dis- with disgust. <laughs> I think I've and, seen that actually. And it comes with. It, <laughs> Look at your face. It comes with no no pun intended. <laughs> um, it, it comes with a jar with a My Little Pony figure in it and hot glue in it. It just hot, hot glue. That's all it is. It's nothing else. <clears throat> Made to resemble what? <laughs> hot glue. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You don't have to say it. I think yeah, that's all you need to be saying. That's all you need to know. So, what you're so saying, that's something as you'd want. So what, what you're saying is young people want gross things. Well, <laughs> Kids yeah, are into slime. Im- Kids immature like people. Slime. Uh, immature, in- immature people. In- internet, in- internet aged In people. terms of clothing that's not just t-shirts, so drip. Um, get that, get that drip, son. Get that drip. What I'm guessing, Yikes. stuff from thrift stores, I guess. I don't know. Uh, That's not a bad idea. I, or, That's not a bad gift idea. And if it's overpriced, it'd probably be something like a Supreme. <laughs> Okay. Or, okay. Or a Kanye West shirt that's super long. Just a white T-shirt. There was a white hundred dollar twenty dollar T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. 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 So weird things. Yes. Weird things. Stuff that would make more mature people or yeah. I think he's talking about us. Like question <laughs> question what 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 what, what went wrong. <laughs> so yeah. you want to shock. Yes. You you want to so, shock. So, so presents that when you seniors. when you wear them or just sort of have them, they just kind of shock and awe people. Right. Yeah. That seems to be the order of the day <laughs> okay. for younger people. I get it. I was there. Sure. I yeah, sell. Yeah. I'm still there. I, I I do love t-shirts that confuse people. I don't know that I'd wear that t-shirt, but yeah. like if it's a t-shirt, you don't know what it means. Like all the better for me. I enjoy. Oh yeah, those. like the t-shirt where it's True. a Dalek and it says, "Oh, it's R two D two from Star Trek." Yeah. 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 Something like that. Okay, right. cool. Uh, oh, yeah, and, and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we live in Nevada. <laughs> All yeah, right, yeah, Luis, you ready accessible. to go? Or? Yes, so I have visual aids uh, for people my age. Uh, I, will have, I do have some things that to suggest for you. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people my age are much more appreciative of things that are uh, homemade. Um, so yeah. maybe making something for someone is always a good idea. It's always a nice idea. I think by the time I, maybe even late twenties, early thirties, I was more appreciative of things that were, uh, <clears throat> made for me. Um, of course, clean socks, nice <laughs> socks and underwear is <laughs> always so, appreciated. Do you not wash your laundry? No, you I to, do. I you do. You need new ones every no, year? No, 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 no. I do. I do. Oh, okay. But you, I don't think in this world you can never have enough socks. I think that you need a good amount of socks. I mean, yes. I mean, wow. what are we wow. talking? We were talking about. I remember we had a conversation about like helping homeless people, and you were like, "Homeless people need socks. They uh, want yeah, socks. Yeah, yeah, they need right. socks. Yeah, yeah. That's what they need. Yeah, like, they yeah. need socks. They want yeah. socks. Yeah. Yes. I, and I know they actually why. They want that stuff. You yeah. want a comfy pair of socks. Right. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with getting a constant influx of, of socks. socks. Mm. Yes, especially yeah. when you could just get a bar of soap with a sock. You know. Oh and boy! Yeah. yeah, going back oh, yeah. to my army days. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that was actually a. Uh... Yeah, that was oh, real. That's a real that's thing. That's a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They don't. Yeah, they, it's done because it doesn't leave bruises. <laughs> well, it does. It's just not the same kind of bruise. Oh, and it okay. doesn't happen. So I'm right thinking away. of a bag of oranges, and it doesn't necessarily happen r- right away. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah, totally yeah. Uh, homemade stuff is always good. Um, clothing has become like when I was a kid, I hated getting clothing, but now like I would love to get more clothing, jackets, and what just stuff that you need. Jackets, again, socks, uh, the occasional T-shirt with some esoteric thing on it. Uh, that's always cool. Nice. Um, like an elder sign. Like an elder sign, sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, with any hope, uh, you know, people won't know what it means. But uh, I do have a few visual aids for some All gift right. ideas. Oh. Um, Nice. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> I raided the store for this. Nice. So the first thing, uh, uh, board games. I think 30-somethings really sort of revolutionized that board game sort of fad. It certainly created a renaissance. Over yeah, the last for few years, sure. So. Uh, we do have a couple in the store here. Uh, we did. We played Wingspan before. I think we, we, we talked about it before. It's a good game. Really good it's game. a very it's good game. And yeah. it has that Pokemon element. It does for like <laughs> actual birds. Oh, for birds. For real birds. Yeah. For real birds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm convinced I won that game because I had an American bald eagle and a wild turkey. <laughs> Which in the game were remarkably not that good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so in that uh, just real quick, in that game, birds have special abilities. Right. Oh. Uh the turkey and the eagle do not have special abilities. They didn't do, do much you, of it. Do anything. you make them yeah. fight? 
No, no. no. What? That's barbaric. No, you, you collect the birds. You collect them, basically. You collect basically, them for yeah. your aviary. And what you they, just have a collection of beautiful it's a, birds. It's an engine building game. Yeah. Birds. But with birds. Are different parts of that engine, yeah. Bird yeah. Uh Also, uh, I, I also have Catan, which is probably what, Great probably game, what set yeah. this whole thing off yep. is, and that's the, is the Catan. That's the 25th anniversary, so that has yeah. like the five and six player I, expansion yeah. already added in. Now, I'm, I'm mostly really using, the, yeah, they're very good. Uh, these are great games. I'm mostly using them for visual aids. Uh, like I said, I think 30 something's really uh, brought back the board games into this like new renaissance. Uh, a lot of the times when I go hang out with my 30 something friends at a dinner party or something like that, we usually end up playing some sort of right, board game. Yeah. We played uh, 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 Werewolf, right? Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, well, no, I mean, like, when oh, we, we were. Did, yeah, yeah, we, we did, did yeah. Too, I yeah. played that with a bunch of my yeah. friends, too. So, like, yeah. board games are always good, uh, especially if it's going to have people come over to your house. I, I guess when you're 30, you just love it when people come over. Yeah, it's that, and I think it's, yeah. I think, to put my mind back, it's nice to be intellectually stimulated because in your 20s, you're looking to not be intellectually stimulated yeah. ever. <laughs> Tony, 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 Tony. <laughs> See what uh, I mean? We're doing a show, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? So in your 30s, you're ready for some intellectual stimulation? Sure, yeah. sure. So yeah. the next thing I'm going to talk about is nothing but intellectual stimulation, guys. Okay. Okay. Old comics. <laughs> yeah, there you uh, go. Not too old. Not too old. But there's nothing wrong with vintage comics. Yeah. I personally love vintage comics. But this is one of my favorite comics, Hell- Hellboy. Yeah. Uh, this is a set, yeah. special edition box set with the first four uh, Hellboy trades. Yeah. Um, listen, when you get to a certain age, I don't want to buy individual comics anymore. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I did that for a while now, and the older I got, the more I realized how useless that yeah, is. If you, yeah, if, you, if you're only interested in the story, if you're buying comics, old comics, it's to invest. If you're interested in the story, that's right. trade paperbacks are more than adequate. Yeah, and honestly, like something like this would probably serve somebody in my age group so much better than buying the individuals yeah. or having to buy these and individually. Much yeah, it's much easier for me to just get this for Christmas and just have it last for probably months. Right. Um, so that's another good idea there. And then the last thing I have, um, <laughs> listen, guys, D and D is back, y'all. D and D is back. Let's not. It's huge. Let's not it's actually it, yeah. bigger now than I think it ever. Has yeah. Been. Let's not make yep. any of us about that's anything. That's saying something. Cultural um, speaking. Yeah. Now this, this is cheating. This is mostly for people of any age group. Again, especially since D and D is back, baby. Uh, yes. You can get uh, your special someone who probably wants to try D and D or some sort of role playing game. Um, again, this goes back to like the board. It's the whole board game thing of just right. like getting together at someone's house. And just doing an intellectually stimulating activity, especially when it has to do with your imagination. And nice thing about D and D is it can be intellectually stimulating, it can be socially stimulating, mm. it can really hit a lot of. Yeah, when you're thirty, it's it seems like that that sort of well, like that that part that you those parts that you never stimulated when you were younger are like that's what you're feeding oh, into, right. right? That need to like hang out with people, that dopamine boost, that oh. dop- yeah, which come <laughs> which comes from dinner parties nice. and board games and playing D and D when you're thirty. And you know the um, great thing about what you're about to show is even for like OSR guys, mm-hmm. I mean it's still they're good reading and they're interesting, right? And it can give you ideas for other things, and if you don't know what OSR is, just you know, look up D and D OSR, and you're going to find a plethora of what that means. Honestly, I think now I'm probably more. Again, it's getting older. I'm more interested in OSR now right. than I was when I started playing D and D. It's nothing kinky. It's mm-hmm. nothing kinky. No, no. no. Well, it can't, I guess it can be. I mean, it, I guess yeah, you can, normally it's. But it usually kinky. makes people uncomfortable yeah. if they're playing. Do you want to show table. those in camera? Because yeah, uh, yeah. So oh, this, so oh, yeah, there this yet. is. I'm sorry. No, no. This, yeah. So this is uh, the Temple of Element. I will be getting this for myself, by the way. This this is the Temple of Elemental Evil. This is a classic um, adventure game. Yeah. So if you have a younger player who wants to maybe experience like a like an older adventure, or you have someone who's never experienced D anD D experience. Like a really sort of well put together, much older adventure. This is definitely the way now, to go. Now, the thing about those Goodman games and original adventures reincarnated is they're they're really nerdy deep dives into not only the original adventure but like the history of it, the publication, yeah, yep. the different versions of it. They're great. I it's love very. Them. It's I love a, them. <laughs> it's, they're great. I have it's, them all. Yeah, so I love the, them. the coolest idea I think they did for these was to have them be 
compatible with the old school version that right. they came out for, the OSR version, and have like an updated 5E version right, yeah. for people who just refuse to play anything. And they kind of clean up some of the inherent sort of problems with them too, so that's good. Yeah, and then I, I just have a Wild Beyond the Witchlight here for 5th edition D&D, which, you know. Bring it in the camera. If you've things. played enough there D&D, go, yeah. you're probably it's good. It's really cool. Yeah, you're probably good at converting this yeah. stuff into OSR already I, really, anyway, I picked that up. So. It, it's really kind yeah, of interesting. Yeah, I, I was reading about it, but I haven't, I haven't picked it up yet. Dungeons & Dragons meets meets uh meets uh something wicked this way comes right yeah but it's more than just an adventure it's an entire setting it's a campaign setting yeah, yeah. um really anyway cool. yeah this is some of the suggestions i have um you know homemade stuff clothes are always good and then just sort of anything that'll i guess stimulate you intellectually socially yeah. that kind of stuff um cool yeah what do you got all right, so for the 50-something in your life, it gets a lot trickier. And the biggest reason why it gets a lot trickier is They're because... They're so mad. They're so angry. We, <laughs> that's not true. That, not that true. was 40-something me, not 50-something me. <laughs> oh, that's what I have to look forward to. 50 is a lot more accepted. Is that what I have to look forward to at 40? <laughs> Correct. Oh, no. Um, you know, part of the problem with buying for somebody, you know, is like you get to the point in your life where you have a certain means and you have a certain bearing and if you see something you want, you get it. <laughs> if you can, if you can, you get that it. That is the that is one of the most true statements I've ever heard. Yeah. My parents are terrible to shop for because right. anything they want or they need, buy. they'll just get it. Yeah. Yes. So it's trying to surprise them at Christmas <laughs> or try to give them a gift that right. they go, "Wow, super hard." So a couple things yeah. you can do. Um, you know, gift cards are always nice, and that's probably the lowest level. That's what I do. Um, <laughs> that's yeah, what I do. Yeah. Um, another thing is, you know, pay attention to their interests. Um, if you know their interests, you can always surprise them with things, depending on how close you are to their interests. You know, to yeah. give you an example, um, last year I got, you know, I'm a huge Godzilla fan, I got like this really cool Godzilla pullover hoodie that I never would have got on my own. Um, and I wasn't even sure I liked it, but everybody around me compliments it, so I, it I've, it's, it's grown on me a lot. What's it's, on it? It's Final Wars it's Godzilla. right there. It's Final Wars Godzilla. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the one I was wearing when I came oh, out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm still wearing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you know, cool. that, that was a good way to be surprised. You know, T-shirts based on interests are always kind of good sometimes. You know, and, and, you know, one thing about presents in general, especially as you get older, you realize that at the end of the day, it's just stuff. <laughs> and that sounds mean. Well, and, that's, and that doesn't mean you don't yeah. appreciate it. But sometimes you might appreciate the gift and not care for the <laughs> stuff, I guess. Right, the thought, um, right? The thought. Right. Um, so that being said, you know, you, the best, you hope you surprise somebody. Sometimes you won't. Not much you can do about that. Mm. Another example of something which um, was really cool is, you know, like we know, we actually, back in the old days when we did a regular old podcast, we actually interviewed Jen Page. Um, she was she, wonderful. She's yeah, a one, she's she was wonderful. cool. Yeah. She was super cool. But uh, we... She sells a poster, and the, <laughs> I love this poster. And I actually bought it for somebody as a gift too. It was freaking great. Um, it's it's like Jen Page on a unicorn, and I think she's wearing a mermaid outfit. It's like all these different sort of fantasy elements, mm -hmm. and she's holding up a sword, and it says "Fantasy Bitches," <laughs> 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 like good. something like that, right? It's yeah. great, yeah, because it's something. It's also, and I think she even signed it, which. But it's also something you're not going to walk into a Walmart and find. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's something more personal. It's more custom. I think the older you get, kind of the more too, the yeah. thought of of the gift is more important right. than the actual gift. Right, yeah. right, right. Like I know, I mean, I got and it was really cool. Um, last couple of years ago for a birthday, I got. I don't know if you ever saw those wood carving. Or wood, they're kind of, I guess, wood puzzles, three dimensional wood puzzles. I love, I love but those. I have a bunch of those. It's actually a GM screen. I'm so it's old. a DM screen. Oh, wow. And it's freaking awesome. I can't imagine ever actually using it simply because it is kind of big, but it's really cool. Right. You know, and it was fun to put together, you know, and it was cool like that. So something like that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we can still be surprised. <laughs> it's not easy, but we can still be surprised. Right, right. Um, and, you know, it doesn't even have to be a big thing. I know my daughter one year got me the tiniest little thing, and it's just so cool. It's basically Dragon Ball Krillin sitting on a Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just a cool little That's figure. It. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool little yeah. figure. And I, she knows I love Krillin. He's always my favorite, one of my favorites. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's hard, but if you pay attention – you know, that's the other thing I think once you get older, it doesn't even have to be anything big. Mm. It can be something pretty small. Yeah. And simple. And yeah. um if it surprises you if it surprises the intended target, especially as you I wanna say probably once you get into your forties, 
Um, if it's surprising, that's better. <laughs> You're like living in fear. That's better than anything else because mm -hmm. then you know you can be surprised. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Because I don't know, you get jaded when you get older. You think you start, you start, you get caught in a trap of thinking that you've seen it, seen, seen it, been there, done that kind right. of mentality. I hate when I think that way, but I do fall into that trap sometimes. So it's always nice to be surprised, even if it's something little and minor. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I have. And worst comes to worst, you can again just get someone a gift card. That's what I do with my parents. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I got you a gift. It's not a gift card though. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a cameo. <laughs> or or a uh, cameo? Yeah, it's a cameo. Uh, oh, yeah, from oh. the entire cast of your favorite show, Blue Bloods. What? On CBS. <laughs> Get out of here. Sundays at nine. Oh boy. <laughs> On CBS. No. <laughs> no. Even, okay. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll have to see if I can send that back. Donnie then. Wahlberg and uh, yeah yeah I gotta see if I can get a refund on that cameo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is what's his name a uh, to, uh, Tom, Tom Selleck. Selleck. It yeah. is a Tom Selleck. <laughs> Well, well, that would have been a lot cooler. That actually, show's no. better than some of those other yeah. shows. He just kind of yeah. walked away from the cameo. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he said he was too good for this. Okay. So, damn. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I did okay, not get yeah. you that. So I hope you're not expecting that. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So there's uh, there's a couple of ideas uh, for people of your right. the special people in your life of different ages. There, um, like you said, once you start to sort of gauge what people's general interests are, it's honestly so much easier to get them something. Not the precise thing, but maybe something to surprise them with. Right. For sure. Uh, so there you go, holiday gift guide. Uh, you can find uh, some of the products that I've shown uh, probably in any store, uh, board game store, comic book store, or you can come down here and get it. You know, we're we're open, not right now, but we're open. So there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. Plugs anybody? To oh here, we oh here we go. Yeah. Toku Titan Chaos. We. You guys, he does this everywhere. Yeah, we live stream on Saturdays and. Uh, on the 11th, we are going to do a five-movie watch party charity live stream. Nice. Yes. This this might air past that, so yeah. sorry. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, it's but really they they do stream every Saturday, so yes. you can, yeah, you can catch guys, them. they're they're awesome. It's a great show. Yeah. It really is a good show. Good, good um, show, what do you got? T Public slash GoFenris or Oddity Collectibles, the coolest T-shirts that you can't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, my OnlyFans is blowing up, y'all. Uh, oh, so yeah. uh, go on, sell, yeah. You, you selling sell your bath, bath water? water, huh? You can sell, sell your bath, bath water. That I don't. You farted I have. Yeah, I just sit. In, I sit in the tub and <laughs> fart, fart a bunch, and then I sell the bath water <laughs> in like old Gerber like. <laughs> Jars, not even fancy <laughs> jars, like the little Ger Gerber jars. <laughs> um, oh, lately, I've been experimenting oh, wow. with uh, teaching people how to play uh, board games, like a like a demonstration in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, but I'm pantsless, <laughs> uh, so I'm like Winnie the Pooh in it while I'm showing you how to play Settlers of Catan for so, like you know, or or Wingspan. Uh, right. My last video was Wingspan with no pants on, so All right. All right. there you go, <laughs> only yeah. fans. All right. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. So thanks, guys, so much for joining us again, and we will see you next week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>